So the last time we saw Sir Richard Branson, he was floating around in space. Well, now he's heading out to sea. His Virgin Group is jumping into the cruise ship industry. Virgin Voyager Voyages' Scarlet Lady made its way into the New York Harbor this morning. Just this morning. It's in town for a three-day kickoff <laughs> before the Caribbean adult cruise set sail on October 6th out of Port Miami. Here to tell us about the ladyship and the cruise line are Virgin Group founder Sir Richard Branson himself and Virgin Voyages president and CEO Tom McAlpin. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. So this has to be an exciting time. I mean, the pandemic has delayed everything, including vo Virgin Voyages. And now the ship is sitting in New York Harbor. You're ready to finally debut it. How, how does this moment feel for you right now? Well, uh, we came in last night uh, in, a, in a dramatic <laughs> thunderstorm <laughs> with lightning and yeah, uh, past, past the Statue of Liberty, and, um, and I had to pinch myself. I mean, we, th we, this was meant to have happened 18 months ago. Mm. Got a little delayed, as everything has, um, but um, now, finally, we're, we're up, up and ready to go. And it's a fun, fun ship. I mean, it's, um, uh, you know, it's just unlike any other, any other cruise company, as hopefully you would expect from Virgin. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> my daughter, for instance, who uh, would never go on a cruise ship, went, went on it as, um, about a month ago as it went around the UK and, uh, yeah, partied all night. <laughs> uh, there you uh, go. And, um, it so is an adult cruise. It is. It's an adult cruise. Yeah. You know, think about this as a boutique hotel on the high seas, mm. you know, designed specifically for adults and it has these curated experiences, fantastic eateries and restaurants, restaurants that you would want to go to on land. And then yeah. we've got the fantastic entertainment um, Look, and, and this crew that delivers this, this wonderful experience. We call it setting sail the Virgin Way. Mm. And Tom, you've been in the cruise industry a long time, as I understand it, so you know that safety right now, top of mind for a lot of folks as we come out of this pandemic. What's being done on, on the cruise ships uh, to make sure that everyone stays safe? Well, you know, safety and security, obviously, number one for us. We spent the last 18 months really looking at protocols. How do we make this the safest way to travel? So it starts with adding additional things on board the ship. We invested in new technology, a product called Atmos Air, which purifies the air, cleans 99.9% .9 of all the germs and bacteria. On top of that, I mean, vaccines are a game changer. So we're requiring all of our sailors, we call our passenger sailors, and all of our crew to be vaccinated. And on top of that, as an additional safety precaution, uh, we're going to be testing all of our sailors before they get on board oh, the wow. ship. Okay. So yeah. the combination of this, and it's really a controlled environment, creates the safest possible way to travel. You know, a big thing about the cruise industry right now, the, the word sustainability mm -hmm. is, is very important. What are you guys doing to make sure your cruises are as, as, as sustainable as possible? Well, you know what? It started from the design of the ship, designed to be the most fuel-efficient ships that are out there. We invested in new technology called Climon, which takes the exhaust heat and turns it into clean energy. We have a ban on single-use plastics on board. We have a ph phenomenal recycling program. And all of this geared to, you know, Richard lives on our island in, in the Caribbean. Our focus is on the environment. And, you know, we've invested, uh, we're the first ship to, to be uh, carbon neutral from day one. So mm -hmm. we're investing in carbon offsets in order to do the right thing for this environment. Mm -hmm. So Richard, while we have you, we got to ask you about uh, that, that recent trip that you took to outer space, mm -hmm. of course, back in July. The FAA recently opened up this investigation regarding a mishap. Uh, about the July space flight, saying the rocket ship, I want to make sure I get the language right, the rocket ship veered off course during the descent, currently a ban on future flights until the investigation is complete. In the future, how do we make sure things like that don't happen? Well, it was a test flight. Um, and uh, as far as I was concerned, I just it couldn't have gone better. I mean, it, 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 felt, <clears throat> it felt like it went uh, straight up into space. Um, uh, you know, sometime later, I learned that it, 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 it went a, t a tiny bit out of the, uh, the designated area, uh, but still over, over desert. You know, it wasn't over any cities or anything like that, and it was only for a minute. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, test flights are test flights, and you're going to discover these things and make sure you get them right in the future. These are test flights to space. I yeah. mean, we talk about this new age space race. I mean, you've got yourself, who was the first to do it, Jeff Bezos, uh, Elon Musk's uh, SpaceX launches tomorrow. What does it feel like to, to be a part of this whole race and, and to be first in the game? Look, it's, I, I pinch myself every day of my life because, you know, we're, we're lucky enough to have had extraordinary experiences. I mean, today, you know, from spaceships to, to cruise ships. I mean, it's, it, you know, so very, very, very lucky. But, um, but 
you know, what Elon's doing is, is extraordinary. Um, you know, what Jeff is doing is extraordinary. I mean, they, 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 you know, suddenly we've got, you know, not just 500 people who've been in, up to space in the history of space, but a possibility of, you know, thousands of people being able to go to space and... and, and yeah, maybe, sir. I've, I've seen, I know you I've saw him floating around there. Yeah. Close we'll, we'll, get, we'll get you up one day. And maybe, maybe your baby. And, and, <laughs> yeah. and, uh, um, your, your virgin baby, sorry. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> well, that's an oxymoron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's awkward. No, that's awesome. Um, not how it happened. <laughs> then it took a turn. Sir Richard, Tom, thanks so much yeah, thank for you, stopping you. by. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.